Okay, so this is the group of Caitlin, Rosa and Stefano. And um, I'm going to explain the idea that we had for the presentation. Uh, since it mostly involved this sort of reaction between, of interaction between the audience and, uh, and our project, we decided to just make a video of, uh, of us explaining it to you, so you can sort of imagine in your head what it's supposed to be like. So for our project, we needed nine participants from our class, uh, and we had them divided in three groups. Uh, first, we had a group of uh, friends, and then we had a group of how I met, met your mother, and we had a group of Will and Grace. So um, we would uh, have these three groups on stage, and we would sort of make a, a scene setting, uh, uh, mostly out of chairs, which were available in the theater, and we would put them like in a way that they were supposed to be on the set of each sitcom. So in France, it would mostly be uh, sort of rebuilding the couch area. And how I met your mother, that would be rebuilding the bar area like this. So we put the chairs facing uh, this way, right? So this is the face of the chair and here the chairs looking in that direction. And then in Will and Grace, it would be like, here's the chair. Uh, from the living room table and somebody would be standing here and walking around. So uh, we'd have two participants sitting here in this area and two here and two here. And our, our idea was that we make a sort of stock scenario for all of these uh, characters in which the third participant walks in halfway. So um, all of these characters would be on the stage all of the time jabbering and uh, sort of laughing and acting like they had a good time. So jabbering is like this uh, way of speaking, which is not actually speaking. It's like the, the way the Sims do, right? The like this. Um, and then we uh, would have Caitlin, she would have made uh, some different kind of sounds, which we would use uh, to sort of finish up these scenes with music and a laughing tape. So Caitlin is going to explain something about the sound later on in this video, but for now I have to explain to you that the audience would be sitting here. So Fabiola, you'd be sitting here in the middle watching three simultaneous scenes which all have the same stock scene which I made on paper. So now we walk up this way and uh, this would be like all of the participants uh, at first had to take a sip. So from their uh, drinks, which they have in France, that would have been to drink coffee. In How I Met Your Mother, this would have been beer. And in Will and Grace, this would have been white wine. So um, this is the stock scenario. Okay, so the first um, opdracht assignment that all of these actors slash participants would have to do would be to all take a sip. Then, one of them, one of the participants that's already sitting in the scene, would have to make a joke. And then they all had to laugh in all of the three scenes, scenes simultaneously. So then, all of them would take a sip again. And then, uh, one of them would have an emotional outburst, like mostly all of the characters in these shows uh, will have once in a while. And then uh, the rest respond in a way that's in line with their character. So uh, Chandler might be uh, a little bit ignorant, while Ross or Rachel might be a bit more sensitive in their response towards this. Um, then all say or do the, their character's reoccurring thing or phrase. So for Chandler, there will be something like <laughs> or um, uh, for Karen, that would be to make a high pitched like kind of sound and drink her uh, alcoholic drink. And um, then all, uh, all the, and then the same conflictual com uh, conversation would have come up. Like for Rachel and Ross, that would have been to reenact uh, with a jabbering kind of sound 
there uh, we were on a break discussion. Um, and then uh, all five with, uh, with words only, so they had to be like in a jabber, jabbering kind of fight, all of these participants. And then the new character would walk in with this umbrella. So we had the ter third participant, each walking in at the same time, carrying their own umbre umbrella as if they were coming from outside uh, from uh, bad weather. Um, and then the rest respond in their way uh, in a way that's in line with their character uh, to the uh, coming in of the new character. And then the new character talks endlessly and annoyingly about how they've fallen in love with someone new. Um, so uh, I, I don't know if actually I have explained this, but I would be standing here behind the audience holding the signs up for the participants to see but if that wasn't clear already. But then this uh, new participant would talk about their new lover, annoyingly and endlessly, and the rest would take a sip and then slowly get bored, because they would, they would respond in a bored way. And then uh, one of the bored characters makes a joke, and then all of them laugh. So uh, this would have been the stock scenario that we were about to perform with all of these three groups at the same time uh, on the stage. And then we still have these signs which uh, Stefano would have been holding up uh, to uh, instruct the actors if they forget to jabber and uh, seem like they were having a good time just to hold this up. And these would have been for uh, the remaining audience of all the people who didn't uh, participate in this scene to just instruct them about when to sing, sing along or to say ah or applaud, applaud and cheer and laugh. Okay, so another element throughout this whole scenario play was that at the beginning of the scenes, so when the characters first start, with their assignments. Before that, we have the introduction song of every single sitcom that would um, play together uh, and overlap, and every single character has to respond to the introduction song of their sitcom that is playing. And then throughout the assignments, uh, a laughing tape would play uh, occurring at certain assignments. So for instance, um, at number three, I'll laugh. Also again, the laughing tape would play. And uh, this would happen throughout the whole uh, scenario that would be playing out. So this connects to how also in the actual sitcom you have these things that are reoccurring, such as the introduction song at the beginning of every single episode, the laughing tape throughout the episode at certain points, and then uh, at the end of the episode, you would have the outro song, which would also play at the end of our scenario with all the assignments being done. Uh, it also again ends with their outro songs playing almost simultaneously and overlapping. Ha, ha, ha.